So we're merely pawns in some elaborate game that will determine the fate of the world, is that it? Then which player is going to be fortunate enough to checkmate fate, I wonder? Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of Retro Fridays. I've been wanting to do this series for a long, long, long time because uh, well, I've been wanting to play a lot more retro games for the past few years now and uh, I always thought it would be really cool to have a, a feature like that on this channel. So here we are, this is the first one. And uh, I'm playing a special game for me and why is this game special for me, you might ask? Well, basically, I used to get a lot of um, PlayStation Magazine demo discs and one of those discs had this game and I got that demo disc maybe on the same month where I, I got a, a full game from my parents and I used to get like a, a, full, a full game every few months and uh, I fell in love with this game so much I couldn't wait until I could get it, the full version. I played the demo to exhaustion. Like, I literally, I played the demo for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. I was just in love with this game. And uh, what is this game? Well, this game is, I would say, heavily inspired by Metal Gear Solid for multiple reasons, like the design of the robots, some of the camera angles, a lot of stuff that's going on reminds me so much of, so much of Metal Gear, Weird. but the gameplay is actually nothing at all like Metal Gear. It's more action-oriented, there's no stealth, there's, like, the story is minimal, the game is pretty short, you can finish pretty quickly, it feels a little arcadey in a good way. Uh, it's divided by missions, which you can repeat and try to get the best score possible, at which I suck at, because, as you'll be able to see, I always get a D. <laughs> I, I kind of suck at this game. <laughs> so I'm sorry for what you're about to witness. But I wanted to play something special to me for the first episode, and this is the one I chose, because I, I wanted to play it again for a long time. And um, I realized I kind of suck at it. I think I finished it when I was a kid, but I can actually cannot remember very well. So maybe I didn't. I don't know. So let me just uh, check. Uh, yeah, that's on. All good here. So I created saves. I've been playing this for the past few days a little bit. I, I made saves at almost every mission. And I have a pretty good idea where I want to start recording this video. I'm going to record for like three, maybe three missions. And uh, maybe start here on mission seven. I think this is the one I was thinking of. Okay, so as we go, I'm going to explain to you what the game is all about. Let me just get ready here. Ah, because my my actually my game screen is up there for for these videos. So okay, so at the end of every mission. You can uh, go here to E-Units, and you can use the E-Units that you get to upgrade your bombs, which we'll, we'll get to it. The range at which you can throw the bombs, which I can almost upgrade here. And your shield, which is pretty self-explanatory. Don't need to explain that. And, uh, of course, you can save, uh, but let's just go to the next mission. And just to give you an overall about the story of this game, well, you're a soldier, you're made for the battlefield. As as it as it happens in many games now, <laughs> and um, the first mission you did outside of training, basically you were told to murder a lot of civilians, and I guess that scarred you for life, as it would anyone who is sane, I guess, and it made you kind of insane, which is actually would probably would happen in real life if something like that happened, which I'm sure it happened because there's a lot of war out there. War sucks. Anyway. Um, now we are uh, sent to this mission to destroy this ship to protect our home planet. We don't know what home planet. I think they said a name and it wasn't... Earth. To be honest, I'm not paying too much attention to the story of this game because there's not much of a story. You just play this for the gameplay because it's fun. That's it. But, well, as you are invading this ship, bad stuff happens and uh, 
you have to crash land there and everything went to chaos everyone is separate you're trying to save the people who were with you and it's kind of crazy one of the guys disappeared and he's giving us some very good very very bad very bad vibes bad guy vibes so hmm let's go let's let's see what happens All right, so this is Utah, and this is Michino. Michino? Michino. Yeah, that's how you say it. Aren't you supposed to be backing up the lieutenant? Yeah, but she's been captured. Don't make those scary faces at me. There's nothing I could do. Where did they take her? Uh, don't tell me you're planning on rescuing her. Hey, you're not worried about that uptight chick, are you? A commander is necessary to continue this operation. Plus, she's a person so? who's with you. Well, all right, then Don't you be can. an asshole. I suppose I can tell you where Henri is being held. But in return, I want you to do a little something for me. What is this? Anyway, as a condition for tell for her telling me where Anri is, Michina wants me to destroy the airplanes in the residential area. Looks like she plans to use the confusion to save just herself. This is one sly woman. Hmm. Destroy all airplanes. Will do. So here we go. As you can probably already tell, like these kind of camera angles remind me a lot of Metal Gear Solid One, and I I'm just gonna start doing it here, and I'll explain as we go because uh, this is gonna get a little chaotic. So basically, you can throw bombs and plant bombs and uh, then you can uh, e explode them at all at once right now we can put on ah five bombs as you can see i put on five bombs on that guy with a lock on but you don't have you don't have to lock on you can just place them on the floor as well but you can stack them which makes them stronger obviously also you have to get away from the radius cuz you will get hurt uh, this guy has a shield okay there we go and come on nice uh, we're not this pro this I can talk today for some reason. I always say that in every video. We're not supposed to destroy these buildings, but you might have noticed destroying stuff in this game is kind of fun. It's uh, uh, maybe you don't feel that because you. I, I think even watching you will feel it. It's super satisfying to see everything crumbling down. That's just the kind of game this is, and that that's the hook. Honestly, that's that's what hooks you in. Uh, that kind of uh, that, that wasn't a good job. So yeah, so we can throw bombs like this. That's why you want to upgrade the range, and uh, we can dash in the air like this to evade, which is very nice. As you can see there, my shield level is two on the top left, and uh, you can probably see that um, icon on the left, which says 15 underneath, and uh, those are my special bombs. And so that's uh, how can I say like a freezing bomb. I'll, I'll show you. Let's give it to this guy. There you go. Now it's frozen there. It's like, um... It, it's bugging out, so... It will not move for a while, and you can attack. Oh, that's that's a lot of guys. And then we have a flammable. Let, let's use the flammable on these assholes. Over here. Okay, enjoy the flames. It's pretty self-explanatory, I will say. I think there's a way to throw special bombs, but I don't remember. And anyway, this one creates a vor vortex, which is actually pretty cool. Let's create one here. And there you go. Yeah, you see? It sucks them in. And then this and it hurts everything around it. So, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I, th I think I explained everything. So, I'm just going to start going. Because I'm taking a lot of damage here. And that's not going to be good for my score. My scores already are not good. So, I'd rather not have it be even worse. And uh, when you destroy stuff, sometimes you get uh, drop... Um, Item drops, uh, which could be like special bombs or life or eat chips, which is what you use again to upgrade yourself, your bombs, your shield, and stuff like that. Uh, uh, okay, there we go. Also, this I, I, I should have said this in the beginning. So, uh, this is a new series, so I'm kind of like testing my grounds here. Uh, but yeah, I should have said in the beginning that this came out in 99. In case you were wondering if this ripped off Metal Gear or if Metal Gear ripped off this, it, w it was this. It's not a rip-off, but it got inspiration from Metal Gear. Because Metal Gear came out the year before, so 1998. Oh, Jesus. Okay, there we go. I remember this came out in 99 because um, 
like I was telling you, I wanted really badly to buy this game, uh, but I had recently bought a game at the time, so I couldn't, so I got addicted to the demo. But then, Silent Hill came out, and um, I was just starting to get into horror games uh, through Resident Evil 2. That was kind of my first horror game, to be honest. And uh, my friend was always telling me about Silent Hill. So I actually ended up buying Silent Hill before this one. I bought this one after Silent Hill. Uh, and that, that was the best choice because Silent Hill is one of my favorite games of all time. If not the favorite game of all time. It's hard. I have like three or four. They're always changing and taking each other's places. So, yeah. This, uh, it's also a coincidence that this also starts with Silent. <laughs> that was not on purpose, I assure you. Okay, there we go. Uh, not doing a terrible job here. Could have been going better. Like I said, I kind of suck at this game. Uh, here we go. We have some vortex bombs. That that sucked. That lock-on didn't go in. Oh, there we go. Double. Double explosion there. And I'm not destroying these buildings, but destroying these buildings might actually reveal um, power-ups and stuff. So I would say it's kind of a cool idea to do that from time to time. But yeah, as you probably noticed, this game is hard. Like, I, yeah, I do suck at it, but the game is hard. It's not easy. Um, it's actually quite harder than I remembered. Uh, which is it's a good thing. It's a nice challenge. Like, I'm not complaining. It's not very frustrating. Like, the stages are not that big. Uh, I think the whole game is, like, two hours something long. It's 14 missions. I stopped yesterday at mission 12. This is mission 7, I believe. And I was, like... Um, one hour and a half in, or maybe a little bit more, almost two hours, something like that. So yeah, it's a very short game, very short. Boss fights are pretty cool most of the time. Sometimes they're a little, little, little BS. Not gonna lie, but most of the time they're really cool. There we go. So these usually give you power ups. Yeah, there we go. Big life. That's what we want. So let's just speed up here because there's one left. You can see their target. Five out of six. So we have one left to destroy. Crap. Okay, th that's some HP there. That's nice. Let's get rid of this guy. Let's see if, what this gives us. This might be nice. Uh, I don't know if you're scored also by like the accuracy of your bombs and stuff like that. I have no idea. I, I don't think it mentions that at the end screen, so probably not. Oh, crap. Okay, okay, there we go. Yes, I did. Whoa. Come on, there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna destroy this building because it's fun. And then we're gonna move on because uh, there's a boss fight after this. Uh, 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 I'm just gonna ignore you, okay? Uh, take damage doing that. Anyway, here we go. This is the boss fight I remember the most from when I was a kid. Maybe it gave me a lot of trouble, but it's honestly not that hard. So, maybe I just thought it was fun. I don't remember exactly why I remember it, but this is the one I remember the most. So, I I have the habit of immediately pressing, like, aim. But that's maybe not the best idea, because here, I actually want to put the bombs on his back like this. And actually, let's use... Ah, oh, crap. Let's use some flammable bombs, because they, they do damage over time. And let's get some more here. As you can see, the boss life is going down, which is awesome. Okay, where are you? Uh, be careful with the mines, as I say, as I get exploded by them. Uh, I cannot climb. Yes, I can climb this. Whoa, 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 oh, Jesus. Okay. So let's go. Oh, so now we can actually target him, which is nice. But eventually is going to look back and attack like that and I was a little slow dodging there I said this boss fight was easy but here I am making a fool out of myself oh nice life like, you have to commit to the jumps as well because there's not much if any air control the dash kind of gives you a little bit of control but that's it oh, I got an itchy like oh right nice because I can actually Oh. oh, so you can see, when you get eat chips, when you can upgrade a bomb, it will automatically upgrade your bomb. So now I can actually put six bombs instead of five. But uh, I actually I want the range, because it's very useful. Or maybe even the shield. Yeah, I, mean, I think I'm going to go with the shield. Because, you know, I, I suck at this game. 
All right, so let's go back on this guy's back. Pun intended. Let's uh, put more bombs there. He's gonna do his attack thingy. Ah! Could have timed that better. All right. And you can see that like this boss fight is really not that hard. I think I'm going to reach like a harder boss fight still in this video. Uh, because I believe there's a boss fight at the end of most stages here. Uh, but yeah, it's, you're pretty much done here. Like, I think one or two more charge attacks and he's down. Oh, okay, those wheels kind of hurt you. Okay. I didn't get the impression before. Maybe I was touching them while they were not moving. Uh, but we're fine. Like, there's only one boss fight that really gave me trouble in this game so far. But, like, the stages are, are harder than the boss fights, to be honest. Where's the lieutenant? There's this boss fight with a spider, which is really hard, because there's a lot of small spiders. Alright, let's exit the area then. Let's see if we can get some nice stuff. Oh, it chip! Worth it. That was nice. So it's always worth exploring a little bit before you move on. Because it, ch it chips are very useful, as you can see. Let's see, a D? Do I get a D? I get a D. It's <laughs> the usual. So you, I guess you are, like, scored on the time, the life you lose. Um and how many enemies you kill. So I would say my, prob my problem is definitely life and time, because I like to take my time with these stages. Th this is supposed to be a fast game, but I like to take my time with it. Sorry, I guess. That's just the way I like to play. Oh, here we go. Sweet 99 <laughs> CGI. FMV, might I add. Alright, so mission 8, so we are actually on mission 7, not 6. As I proceed along the route Michino gave me to the prisoner holding facility, I noticed some enemy units closing in at high speed. I've got company. Alright, so this level starts kind of on rails. But uh, it, it branches off from the, from branches off from that. Um, it's kind of a fun level, I actually enjoy this level. Usually I don't like um, on rails levels, but this one is pretty fun. So here we go, we're traversing this ship that kind of looks like a sewer right now, and let's make these guys explode, there we go. You cannot fall off, which is a good thing, because this, this will get a little bit chaotic, and I could see that being a problem. Okay, uh, there we go, alright. So next wave, next wave, here we go. This will change up a little bit in a while, don't worry. You're not fighting these enemies all the time. Oh, where's the other one? Okay, he's gone. Alright, so another one of these. And evade. And... Ah, son of a... Okay, I got two in a row there. That's not... Ah! Sometimes it, this game actually reminds me a little bit of... Uh, um bullet hells as well, because sometimes there's a lot of bullets, a lot of particles on screen. Okay, though, so here we go. Now we cannot actually not aim at this, uh, but it, it is attacking us, which sucks. Um, and I'm not evading. But yeah, like, I have a weird relationship, not anymore, with bullet hell shooters. But when I was a kid, I actually didn't like them that much. I didn't like shooters in general, like shoot 'em ups. I thought they were kind of boring. I wanted to play something with story and stuff like that. Uh, I change a lot in that way. I still want to play those things, but I can enjoy everything, mostly. What kind of triggered my love for Bullet Hell? Because now Bullet Hell is actually one of my favorite genres, like of non-story arcade games, was actually Undertale. You know, that there's a lot of Bullet Hell influence in that game. But yeah, that, that game gave me a lot. Like, not just in terms of enjoyment of that game, but it made me start enjoying bullet hell shooters, and I, I freaking love those games now. And those games are actually the only games that I play on mobile. I think those are the only kinds of games that are really, really good on mobile. I've been playing a lot of, um, uh, what is it called? Dan Danmark Unlimited or something like that. Danmark Unlimited 3. It's really, really good. But anyway, I, I don't want to eject. I jet, I jacked, hijack, hijack. <laughs> I can't talk. 
I want. I don't want to hijack this video to talk about Undertale and stuff, and bullet hells. Uh, we'll leave that for maybe another video. I have no idea what I, when I would talk about those, but sure. Maybe when uh, Delta Rune Chapter Two comes out. <laughs> but yeah, or Danmaku Unlimited Four comes out, and I make a video about that. Who knows? Uh, that was close, and I still got hit. But yeah, this game, as you can probably see now, there's a lot of uh, bullet hell stuff as well going on here. Ah, that was really stupid of me. Uh, so yeah, I think the the thing here is destroying that boat because if that boat goes away, so does everything else. And you know, I'm talking and stuff, and talking and playing games. Some games is really hard. But okay, that that guy is gone, which is good. And my life is almost gone, which is not good. But okay, it's, it looks like this is the last guy. I don't know why I put those bombs there. I usually kind of screw myself with those and I just explode them while I'm on top of them because I'm smart. But here we are. The music... The music is okay. It's honestly nothing special. It has a nice vibe to it, I guess. But it's kind of boring a little bit. That's honestly not the reason why you would want to play this game. I don't see myself listening to the soundtrack. Okay, let's get rid of these. Ah! There we go. It's actually easier to place the bombs on the floor for these guys. We actually have to destroy the container where they're coming out from. Whatever that is. There we go. Okay, so let's get uh, some loot from here. Nice, although it's already full, so whatever. But uh, alright, so we have another one here. So let's just attack as much as possible. There we go. We got that, we got those guys. Got some HP left. And let's get some more loot from here. Oh, and here. There's no loot there. I feel tricked. All right, we have an itchip. Nice. Uh, another enemy thing is gonna come out of that. Okay, I don't. I don't need. The thing is, I don't need this one right now, but the, it, it will disappear. So I'll wait until it starts blinking, and then I'll get it. Because I'll probably take damage from these guys, or maybe not. So I'm, I'm just gonna take it now. So it was starting to blink. And I don't want to lose it. There we go. That was that was that was pretty good. Uh, let's uh, get some loot from here if, if we have some. There we go, and another chip. Nice. Okay, another one is coming out from here. All right, let's get these guys over with. Okay, okay, we got that. We got that. Oh crap. Okay. Ah, that was too close. So yeah, the more you stack the bombs, of course, the bigger the radius of the explosion, so you have to be careful about that. Wait, was there something there? No. Oh yeah, there is. These data chips sometimes are hard to see between the flames. Okay, I'm actually not sure what the data chips are for. They don't, they don't really give you E units, right? Maybe they do, they give you like an extra, I don't know. I never noticed, but yeah, let's, let's upgrade the range there. And continue. Okay, there's nothing there. Uh, it chip. Okay, yes, please. And here. Oh, nice. And another it chip. And I get life, and I get life taken away from me. That's just how it goes. And I believe that now it's another boss fight. This one is a little bit more frustrating than the previous one, but it's also pretty fun. Let's see how I handle it, because I said this last time, and... Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying this one is easy. This one is definitely harder than the last one. There's a lot more stuff going on. So. And, yeah, we're gonna have to fight these guys. We do not like them. But they look cool. If possible, I would like to show you a boss fight. I think it's on the next stage, but I'm not sure. That reminds me so much of Metal Gear. It's kind of crazy. Like, even those designs, you can tell. I guess it just... I mean, Metal Gear is very based on, like, mecha and stuff, so... You know. It just... Th there were so many Metal Gear vibes when I was fighting that boss. Ah! Okay, there we go. I got it. 
So as you can see, there's a lot more going on here because we're actually fighting three people or three robots at once. But the robots actually do have people inside them, so I'm gonna say ah, fighting people. I don't think there's a way to to get rid of these. You just have to evade them, and I'm doing a really bad job at it. There we go. You just have to get him in like on a circle. Problem is that the guys are gonna start doing other things, and that ruins the fun for everyone. Uh, see, it's this. I'm kind of hungry. But not for that. I don't. I don't want to eat that. Okay, those are gone. So now they're going to do this, and they're going to start coming over here, one by one. And I'm going to bomb them. One. Oh, that was too close, man. Okay, I still got him. So that's, there you go. Half. Half the life is gone. I almost said half life there, but you know, half life three never going to happen. Um, technically, the new one is not three. It's just off life via. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right, let's evade these things again. These plasma balls, whatever they are. All right, now, ah! Well, that sucked. Okay, okay. The the boss fight I was talking about that reminds me of Metal Gear is actually the hardest. Well, it's the second hardest boss so far. The hardest one is definitely the spider, which I told you about before. That one sucked. That, that kind of sucked. I wish I I had it. Okay, I have another opportunity to get him. There you go. All right. Um, they're gonna boost at me. Okay, there's still the three of them. Eventually, you'll destroy one of them, and then the next one, and finally. So they're like not. They don't completely share the the life bar down there. They do have their individual life bars. Okay. One of them is probably, like, almost dead. Ah! I should have, I should have jumped out of there. But it's fine. I still have, like, half, half of my life. And they're gonna do this again. Easy to evade. That one is also easy to evade. And now it gets a little fast. Uh, there we go. One of them is dead. There we go. Two of them are dead, I think. Yeah. So one left. Not much of a challenge, I would say. Come at me. Come at me, bro. I don't want to eat that. I want to eat food. It's almost dinner time. So you gotta die. Come on. Come over here. Oh, that, that was really stupid of me. Oh my god, that was really, really stupid of me. Wow. 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 I have no words about my stupidity right there. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. Well, to be fair, the lock-on sometimes is a little bit wonky. It doesn't actually activate when you think it should. It's a little bit more tricky than you would expect. There we go. Goodbye. Why? Why we kill one soldier who's on foot? Because I'm very good. And you suck. Well, I, I, I also kind of, kind of suck. So. Okay, so that's the end of this stage. Let's jump into the next stage. And um, let's see what... what, Because I don't remember if it's the stage I'm talking about. But I think it is. I think it is. All right. Up the elevator. Get a little bit more story here. been wiped out. How could Blue Miss Best be taken out so quickly? Calm down. We merely need to fight the way we always do. Continue observing the target. It's a big gun. Big boss? That's a load of them. That's a lot. Okay, I see how I how I got here. Yeah, D. Like I said, I, I yeah, D for delicious. I guess. 
Uh, can I do anything with my E units? No, I only have two. So let's let's just go to the next mission. I think you understood exactly what this game is about. And I, after this, I want to talk about a little bit about this series going forward. But yeah, the facility where Henri is being held prisoner boasts impregnable security, consisting of countless sensors and manned robots. I'm guessing that their security will show their fangs not only at escapes, escapees, but at infiltrators as well. Rescue Henri. Oh, this stage sucks. Oh, this stage sucks. Actually, I don't want to make you go through that. I'm just going to load another stage. <laughs> uh, so, that was stage 9. Do I have stage 10 on memory card? Yes, I do. Let's let's not play that. I, let's not play that. <laughs> that. That level sucks because it's the only level I actually did not like so far. Because uh, you're going through these very small corridors with a lot of lasers, a lot of enemies, and you ha have to open doors and with like with bombs. And I don't know. It's kind of boring to be honest. There's not a lot of space to move, and in this maybe in this game you kind of want to move a lot. So screw that level. Uh, with Arya as my navigator, I've stumbled upon an. an enormous research facility. Research on bioweapons as next generation military weapons was being conducted there. Uh, th this this level could kind of be a spoiler Your next target a little bit. So developed. let me pause that. If you don't want spoilers, you kind of want to play this game for yourself. It's pretty short. I don't know how easy it is to find nowadays, but just go play it because it's, it's really good. But the, if you want to skip the spoilers, I will leave uh, timestamp down there and you can just go forward until that timestamp and like see the conclusion because I'm going to talk a little bit about the series and other stuff that's going on with the channel so here we go so this is where things get weird what the this is where they were like oh I really like Metal Gear but I also really like Resident Evil Biological symbols? Oh no, it's a monster. So yeah, we have like B.O.W.s here. <laughs> okay. These guys are tricky. So you have to explode their arms. And after that, you cannot aim at them anymore. So you gotta place the bombs on the floor. And make them feel the pain. There we go. And uh, just because, you know, I like to destroy things. Let's destroy things. Usually I get some loot from these. Let's destroy these glasses. Which is pretty fun. Let's... Uh, well, this we're not going to destroy it. We're actually kind of releasing it. I actually don't know if it will come out even if we don't destroy that. I'm pretty sure it will. Ah! I was stuck in geometry there. Ah, crap. I, I keep, like, holding the aiming button because that's how you play most of the game except for these guys well there's actually there, there's some other enemies where you don't actually use the aiming but mostly you're using the aiming okay let's keep going so they are creating these beasts here Ooh, an e chip nice so let's get some health and an e ship like everything in this game is destro destructible everything that you think should be like stuff like that and you get score from it which is can I destroy this screen? Oh, I can't. That's well. That there goes what I just said. But I mean, for its time, it was very, very surprising and impressive how much you could destroy. I'm talking about PS One here, the game looks pretty good. I really, really, really like the look of it. The voice acting sucks though, <laughs> but that's kind of uh, on par with most games of this era. Uh, I don't I don't have a problem with that. Like Sun Hill is really bad voice acting as well. Resident Evil. I'm not even gonna say anything about that one. Uh, and I still love those games, so. But yeah, I'm probably just gonna stop this at the uh, at the end of this this section. Because actually the boss fight of this level is the big spy that I was talking about. And I don't wanna go through that again. And I don't wanna make you look and me go through that again. Because that's probably very traumatic for both of us. So I'm just gonna finish this corridor right here, and uh, and call it. Oh, 
Jesus, I have two of them. Fighting for my affection. Okay, there we go. How about some fire, bros? There we go. Yeah, that done did it. Okay. Got some napalm. What do we have over here? We have some vortex. Or it's actually called paralysis. Okay. I always call it vortex because it just creates a vortex, I guess. I was wrong all of these years. I would say the blue is paralysis. It's kind of weird. Kinda weird name in there. Okay. So now we just we go through this again. But yeah, that is that is Silent Bomber. That is a pretty pretty cool PS1 game. And uh, the first on this new series, Retro Fridays. And uh, I, I have to stop playing to actually talk about it because I will not be able to. So let's go. So yeah, that was the first episode of Retro Fridays. This is a new series I'm gonna try to do every well, uh, well every three weeks. Uh, and that leads me to an announcement. I'm gonna make a better announcement of this. I'm gonna make a video about it. Actually, uh, I changed my schedule from being bi-weekly to uh, how do you say like th three, three weekly, <laughs> tri-weekly, I guess. Basically, every three weeks my schedule restarts. So I, I, it was getting too overwhelming. That's why there was not many videos coming out because I didn't have time uh, between working on my games. Um, so now I managed to make a better schedule for it and hopefully things will start moving along and uh, there, There's gonna be a new series Starting on Monday, which is probably going to be the main series on this channel for a long time a Very very long time. I don't want to spoil it But if you go to my website you reckon you can actually see it there and there's a lot of new features on my website as well You can go check them out, but I, on the next video update which should come out on Sunday, maybe hopefully uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about that. Also, tomorrow there should be a um, game development diary, hopefully. I'm going to try my best to have that done. So that's like four videos in one in four days. Uh, but th that's just so I can kickstart my three-week plan. Uh, so you can check that out if you want on the website or wait for the video on Sunday. Uh, and those just the last thing I want to say is that I actually have a discord channel now Which you can join by clicking the link in the description below There's not many people there right now, of course, because I don't have not a lot of people watching right now uh, Maybe in the future we'll have more people there to enjoy with but that's it for me And this is the first episode of retro Fridays. Uh, oh before I go uh, about retro Fridays I actually I wanted to do this a little bit differently. I wanted to Play a game, record footage, and then make a video talking about that game. Kind of like a review, but not really a review. Uh, something a little bit more professional, but my time does not allow that right now. Because the series that I'm going to start on Monday actually is a little bit like that. And uh, I want to focus on that. Everything else is a little bit secondary right now. But you will see it when it comes out. So, um, and... Uh, you never know, maybe some episodes of Retro Fridays will be like that, if I have the time, but most likely not, so just expect stuff like this. It's kind of like a what is, but I'm just talking about it. an old game that I loved, or maybe an old game that I never played and I'm experiencing for the first time. That's the idea of these. But uh, you can check the new schedule from Monday on the website, because it's not there yet. Uh, actually, maybe from Sunday. I'm going to talk about it on Sunday video, so on Sunday maybe I'll put it up on the website as well. But yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Peace.